So, hello and welcome to the first educational video with me. My name is uh, Maxim Zotovs, known as Lucky. So, the first educational will be, of course, about the machines, because what else can be the first? Nothing. We need to know and understand how our machines are working. Basically, that's why first educational about machines. Uh, next video I gonna upload and start working after this video you're gonna get uh, 1 million likes no 100 likes will be enough and not a greedy one and uh, I'm gonna start to make a new one but uh, follow me subscribe whatever press like and let's go basically we must know everything about the machines how to use it where to use it in which directions to use it in which style you need what and uh, basically I can tell you a lot about it and I think maybe it will be a whole new world for you in today's video we're gonna understand what machine we can use where what machine we cannot use what is better for which style in my personal opinion uh, so basically in my 14 years of experience I know some shit So, why did I start first educational video with machines? Well, first of all, I think it's very important. Uh, we must know which machine we can use where. Because not everything possible with every machine. Of course, you can try and struggle, but why to struggle if you can do it much more easier and much more comfortable? So, in this case, I choose uh, these machines. Well, first of all, it's 2023, and most of the artists are working with the pens. Uh, I put some coils here as well, just to explain in the way how it works for me. Uh, maybe it will help to you as well. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Uh, basically, what we're gonna know today. Uh, we're gonna talk about the strokes, why, why you need the strokes. It's all different strokes coming from like 2.5 millimeter to 4, 4.5 and why you need that. As well, uh, we're gonna understand uh, why you need a soft machine, why you need a hard machine, what else, on which voltage you need to work, uh, which style, which voltage, is it the black and gray, is it color, or the very important part is of course uh, comfort, you must feel comfortable. Uh, we're gonna talk about the, the balance of the machines because not every single machine is balanced and uh, Maybe that's why you have a problem of working many many hours, you know, your hand is just getting tired and for that we really need a balance So yeah, let's start So the strokes uh, Every single machine May have a different stroke uh, usually strokes are set by the base which is a 3.5 for the pens and uh, for the coils you can adjust in the way how you like it so usual 3.5 why 3.5 because uh 3.5 millimeter is the medium for everything you can do lines you can do shading and you can do color packing as well is it the best option no it's not uh, is it good option? Yes, of course. You can use one machine for everything. But uh, how practice shows, it's not enough. Uh, when you're doing a lot of work, many hours, and you want to progress constantly, I really suggest you to have two machines in your setup, because uh, it will make your life much more easier. So let's start. Uh, I have coils here. And pens. It is 2023, so basically most of the artists are using pens at this time. So we have a different types of pen machines, uh, wireless and with the wire. But all of them have their own benefits. For example, uh, this machine, it's uh, Avant from IZ. And what's the best about this machine? It is uh, all-in-one. So basically you don't need to have two machines. 
and uh, you can adjust stroke on this machine just by moving it which is super cool uh, it is from 2.5 millimeter to 4.0 millimeter so 2.5 2.5 you can use only for the shading super soft shading light shadows and stuff like that uh, you physically cannot pack color in the correct way with 2.5 stroke and uh, if you need this color packing you can go for 4.0 for example so it has much more bigger hit and with this bigger hit you're gonna inject much more color under the skin so basically it will be much more darker or contrasted or much more color input basically yeah this is why you need the strokes what is good and what is not good in my opinion well we all started with the wires machines yeah and this feeling when you're working this wire always catching somewhere on the arm or whatever so i stopped using uh, machines with the wire only for the comfort it's just not comfortable for me to have this wire over the shoulder or somewhere else that's why i don't use this type of machines here is all the same we can adjust stroke from 2.5 to 4.0 but this is already wireless machine and this is very 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 cool benefit for you well first of all there is no wire so super comfortable but what we need to take care of like really is the balance and in this machine unfortunately it's not balanced so when you are working uh, back part is more heavy than the front so it's always trying to push your arm back and with this machine basically you're gonna get tired if you're working like me eight hours plus a day you know what i'm talking about and uh, it's super cool machine I, I cannot say nothing about the quality of the piercing and whatever but just the balance of this machine is not the best uh, that's why i think not so much good if they would uh, reduce the weight on the back and made the perfect balance for it it would be amazing machine but only good for now the next one uh, the flux from fk super comfortable very nice but you cannot adjust the stroke it's built in and this is a bus kill honestly i mean nice machine you can set up you can make it harder you can make it softer it's all in one but you cannot adjust stroke so it's it, it's stuck with you that's it what is in my opinion best machine what i used to work to is this this is xion but it is with the wire of course you can buy uh, the battery for it but with the battery it's not so comfortable to work this machine have everything i'm gonna show it to you so first we have this part with this thing you can actually make your machine soft or hard or in the middle because we have this scrollable part for the softness and hardness which is super perfect i wish all the machines would have this second part a little bit uncomfortable but still it does have changeable eccentric so this part you can actually change by yourself from 2.5 to whatever you want uh, when i was sponsored with this brand uh, i was actually making these eccentrics for me so i could experiment and the best one 
the biggest one was uh, 4.2, I think, or 4.5. I don't really remember, I need to check. So, if you're working with this, then I really suggest you to have two and uh, to set up one soft and maybe 2.8 eccentric, if it's possible, and the second hard two clicks to the soft, maybe three clicks to the soft for the better result, and eccentric 4.0 for the really colored packing. So your tattoos will look really, really nice, you know, much better. But with this wire or extra battery, and you need two machines. Basically, not bad, not good. But insides of these machines is just perfect. If every single brand would do the same technique here, it would be amazing. One big minus, it breaks. Uh, I broke six of these and they break at the same point. Basically inside the motor with the eccentric. The, I don't know why it happens, but it's not only me with the Xion. I think a lot of people send it back for repairs. Then you wait like half a year, you get it back. Ah, waste of time. So if you want this, take two and extra two just to keep safe when it breaks. Because it will break, I promise you. So the next one. P3 from EZ. Uh, this is the pre-made stroke as well. The only benefit of this machine is the battery, because here they put like super crazy battery, it's a uh, 5.5 thousand something, whatever. So they say it runs 16 hours, but uh, 16 hours on the maximum voltage. I was working with this machine six days without charging on the six volts and it was still alive. The biggest minus of this machine is uh, it's not balanced, completely not balanced. It is too heavy, same like here, too heavy, your arm goes back, so basically not the best comfort. My top one is this machine. This is Evotech from EZ. I love it. Only minus inside pre-made 3.5 stroke, so basically I kind of need one more machine. What's amazing about this machine, it's super soft. So the coil machines. Coil machines, in my opinion, is uh, only good for really nice lines. But this, it's uh, really hard to replace with all of the other rotary machines. Coil machines are just amazing for line work, period. You cannot make better lines with any other rotary machine like you could do with a coil machine. So, coil machine for me personally is only good for lines. Shader? No. I don't like shaders completely from coil machines because Every time you need to reset up it, uh, you need to take care of it so much, so basically crazy big waste of time, plus the vibration, plus the weight, uh, so basically the noise. You cannot really work many hours with the coil machines, your head will just explode, all your inside nerves will just collapse and you will hate yourself in the end of the day. So line work, coils. Really, no doubt, the best. Everything else, for me, no. I, I just cannot physically use it. I cannot torture myself with this. So, that's it for now. So, what's next? Uh, we need to talk about softness and hardness of your machine. Basically, soft machine you can use for black and gray, for the smooth black and gray. And usually soft machines are good from 2.5 to 3.2 stroke. You need this to make these soft shadows and stuff. 
uh, color packing is super hard with this kind of machines for a color packing i really suggest you the hard machine which really packs ink under the skin and how to understand is it soft machine or is it a hard machine actually you can do it by the sound when it starts easy and slow without any extra push 70% it is a soft machine when it starts crazy super hard for example it may be the hard machine you know so for black and gray one soft machine and one hard machine for extra black for the white tones and for color only hard machine for the packing of course if you're doing something like a watercolor then you need a soft machine no doubt but uh, not many people are doing this that's why i really suggest for a color from 3.5 to 4 stroke machine and a hard packer and uh, for uh, black and gray from 2.5 to 3.2 or 3.5 for the shadows and one more machine 4.0 for actually color packing the voltage voltage is a kind of tricky part because every machine can have a different motor inside it can be actually brand motor or it can be maxon or it can be anything else so for example Cheyenne machines have completely different motor and a completely different voltage. Uh, FK have their own, I guess, maybe Maxon as well. Uh, is that? It is Maxon. I, I'm kind of hundred percent sure about that. But anyway, every motor is different, and uh, you need to understand that the lower the voltage it is the better it is for input of the ink under the skin especially this is very important for color you cannot make color tattoos which will age well with the extremely big voltage so basically uh, voltage it's like uh, the, the higher you get the more piercings a second you get so the slower amount of the piercings per second the better it is because it actually goes under the skin the needle itself the faster the voltage it actually just hits the skin that's why you have a lot of bleeding uh, color doesn't uh, go well inside it fades with the time you need to have a correction only one mistake and this is the voltage and basically that's why you have this problem if you was thinking why I have this problem now, here you are. So basically, what I can suggest is uh, for a color, if you're doing color, try to work on 6 volts. Some machines are perfect even for the 5 volts. But please do not go over 7.5 volts because basically you're just gonna damage skin, it will bleed a lot and uh, you will not be happy so much with the result I'm always using 6.0 or 5.0 volts for my color work uh, with the black and gray it's a little bit opposite with the black and gray I suggest to work from 7.5 to 8.5 maybe 9 at some machines you know it really all depends on the motor what have inside so 9 volts is already like super crazy fast i don't really know much people who are working more than uh, 8.5 the works who i've seen and uh, what are looking really nice i mean so why such a difference ah and one more thing with the black and gray we have two machines so basically for extra black color packing and white we will use 6 volts and machine with uh, 4.0 stroke and for the shading we're gonna use from 7.5 to 9 volts soft machine stroke from 2.5 to 3.5 basically this is the trick 
this video is really chaotic, I think. But next point, uh, comfort. Comfort is the most important part for you, your health, your body, your quality of work, and super long sessions. Uh, basically, please take care of your health. I'm tattooing 14 years at this moment, and trust me, my body doesn't like me at all. So, comfort, what I mean about the comfort? Well, first of all, please search for the machine which does not contain vibration, or at least have the minimum vibration. It is very important for you. If you're working with the coils all your life, or you're like new guy who comes into the tattoo industry and you are gonna be old school for life, think about it one more time. I know a lot of people who work with coil machines all, all their life and they really have a big problems in the wrist. And there is a reason why, because uh, there is a thing like vibro illness. And vibro illness comes to you when you're working something with uh, vibration. And coil machines have a crazy vibration. And this vibro illness makes the meat start to separate from the bones inside under your skin basically you're gonna lose all the senses and the movement of your hand it can come to the elbow the vibration goes through all your body so you never know how it will end up i seen one guy on the convention he was like 50 something years old and his machine was duct taped to his arm. And you, you know why? Because he cannot really put pressure on the grip anymore. So <laughs> this was crazy, really. That's why I really stopped using all the coil machines straight away. When you see it in real life, you understand straight away, like, oh shit, your life can be destroyed. So, and uh, he explained me all this why he have a duct tape his arm so he can really hold the machine so please please take care of the health it's very important so the comfort must be light light as possible so you actually can feel comfort second the balance the balance it must be when you are holding a machine, it must not go in front and not must go in the back. So perfect balance, and this is the super perfect balance here. I'm gonna show super nice balances with other machines as well. Uh, perfect balance. Why you need this? Your wrist will not get tired so fast. You can work many hours and just enjoy the time. While, for example, with this machine, I got tired after. Three hours already my wrist was killing me that's why uh, not using this one anymore not perfect the balance flux super light very nice balance but the opposite it actually comes more inside so your wrist is like getting tired a little bit not critical it's a light machine but anyway Flux, perfect balance, like really perfect balance. I don't know how is it with the uh, battery, but I don't think that something will change because the battery for the uh, Xeon is super easy and super lightweight, so nice. Uh, what I know about uh, other brands as well, plus minus good balance, like Cheyenne or whatever, Stigma. So before you buy it, Please ask someone to try it or go to the shop where you can actually feel it, touch it, to understand. The weight of the machine, uh, in my opinion, for example, for me, I have a large hand. So for me, 200 grams is perfect. Lighter than that, I don't really need. But the heavier than 200 grams is already a little bit tricky. So 
perfect balance of the machine, you must feel really comfortable. Please do this. That's it about the comfort. So, I guess uh, it's enough for today. It's already a super crazy big amount of information for one video. It took, I don't even know how much time. I guess like half an hour or something. Which is uh, quite okay. So, in the end of the video, if you liked it, uh, press like, press unlike, I don't uh, mind. And uh, write in the comment section what is interesting for you more, because I can uh, answer you in the comments as well. This is not a problem. Uh, yeah, subscribe, whatever. And I'm uh, gonna see you in the next video. Have a nice day. I hope it helped you in some way. I hope it helped you a lot, actually. Because uh, it's information what needs to be known, in my opinion. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.